Hello, good morning all. So today we are discussing invoice verification in SAP. So what is invoice verification? See, every organization acquires goods or services to complete its business needs. Once goods are procured from a vendor and placed in company's premises through goods receipt, we need to pay to the vendor for acquired goods or services. The amount to be paid along with the details of material is provided by the vendor in the form of document that is known as the invoice. Before paying to the vendor, we need to verify the invoice. This process of verifying the invoice before making a payment is known as invoice verification. So let's go to the screen. Let's create one PO. ME21N is the T code to create PO. Enter supplier. Enter purchase organization. In my case, it is 2024. Then enter purchase group. My purchase group is N2. And enter your company code. In my case, it is N102. Enter. Then select the material from here. So just paste it material then enter pay quantity i said two then enter delivery date enter your currency inr then select material group Then enter plant. In my case, it is 2402. Give storage location here. Then enter. Then view quantity is 2. Invoice here we need to pick on GR based invoice. Enter and just save it. See, document number has been generated. Copy this document number. Copy. And paste. This is PO number. Now, after PO, second step is MIGO, MIGO. Enter. Here, select good receipt. This is good receipt, then PO. Enter PO number here. Okay, now enter. Yeah, this is future date invoice, okay. Now, see quantity, two, and we have received two here. Okay, so enter. And click on item check. And then click on check. Okay. And post. Okay. So copy the material number, Migo number.
paste okay now the next step is miro where we we are going to do invoice verification miro invoice date 9 12 then 9 12 2023 enter 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 okay give any reference here First, we have to change the company code, okay, from here. Zero nine, twelve, two, zero, two, three. Then enter, enter, okay, now enter PO number here. So copy PO number, and paste here. See, in my row, this screen is called header data, header area, then this is allocation area where we are entering PO number. Okay. Now enter. See, this is vendor area, Raj Limited, Bhopal, India. Okay. And this is called balance area. See, 20,000 amount. From here, you can click on delivery note, enter this. Okay, tax code, give J1, enter, see, vehicle parts 2, we have purchased quantity 2, okay. You can just check your invoice from this Migo. Free quantities too. If you want to see which material you have purchased, you can check from your vehicle parts we have purchased. Material group is this. Material number is this. Quantity two. Where, where plant number is this. And storage location is 21. Plant is 2402. Now this is PO number, this is reference document number. That's it. Okay. So all is okay. We have received two quantity only. Give payment terms here. Triple zero one. Baseline date again. This nine twelve two thousand two three. And then enter 21,000 amount, okay? Enter, so we have verified the invoice. So after this, just simulate the data. See, Raj Limited is 21,000, GRIR invoice 20,000. And IGST input tax 1000. Post. See, document has posted. Just save this.
So let's go to FPL 1N. Select all items. This is vendor account. Enter. See, this is the entry. Document number is 001-912-2023 and 21,000. So from here, now you can make the payment to the vendor because all thing is okay. We have verified the invoice. Now you can proceed for payment. Okay. That's it. Thank you so much for watching.